Welcome guys, Jmoff from Jmoff Pickup. Just hit number 850 today as I am repping the new shirt. 150 more to go to 1000. So my last infield breakdown, my night game infield breakdown that I have in my channel, I was getting kind of like an echo because it was cycling the infield audio back through into the mic. So now I am wearing headphones and I'm also hibernating here in the dark. So coming off of a uh, weekend of live training in New York City. <clears throat> I've been meaning to do this for weeks. I was traveling around Colombia. If you guys subscribe to my Instagram, you see that uh, Sonny Arvado and I were having a whole bunch of adventures in Colombia. Uh, we ended up closing in eight days. Well, we stayed there for more than eight days, but we made the video around eight days. We closed 26 between the two of us, 26 new girls to the two of us in eight days. So um, this video that I'm going over now I promised you guys this at 2,000 subscribers. My apologies for it being so delayed. I kind of just kept procrastinating and pushing it off. Um, but I told you guys I'd give you a gift of breaking down a hidden camera infield pull from the daytime. Okay, so what that means is, as I said before, from the start to the finish, talking to a stranger during the daytime. In this particular situation, it's in New York in Union Square and I'm going to show you how it's possible to approach a stranger during the day and take her home. So you're going to, get to see the whole thing and I'm going to give you a play-by-play -play breakdown. All right, so let's get started here. Hi, can I meet you really quick? Oh, sorry. sorry, it's okay. I just want to... Hi. I like to like, how bright your eyes are. I just want to say hi. Um, why did you, why did you get so No, scared? I'm just... I'm... All right, so I open this random girl. Um, I'm like, sorry, sorry. I just liked how bright your eyes were. A lot of times I will say like appearance-based stuff. So for a tall girl, oh, I just wanted to meet you. How tall are you? I really liked how tall you were. Oh, I just wanted to stop you for a second. I really liked how bright your eyes were. Oh, I really liked your coat, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of times I'll just pick out something that strikes me off the bat about a particular girl. And I'll say that's the reason for me approaching her and for talking to her. Now this video is normally very smooth. Um, it looks like since I'm doing a screen, re screen recording, it's chopping up slightly, but that's okay. So. I'm trying to figure out where the fuck I need to go. You're like hiding from the police. You're like. <laughs> okay, well, I actually did just jump a turnstile. All right, so she's like, I'm trying to figure out where to go. Now, in day game, daytime game, you want to figure out her situation as fast as possible. You want to figure out what is she doing. Uh, <laughs> shoot. Um, <clears throat> what are her plans? Uh, what is she about to do? And then you kind of want to, if she's free, you want to invite her to do something with you. So in this particular situation, she was like startled that I approached her. So I made a joke, oh, you must be running from the cops. And she says, oh, I actually did just jump a turnstile. And then so I'm, now I'm going to be joking with her about that. And for those who don't know, this a turnstile is like uh, for the subways in New York City for the public transit. So I'm kind of is that why you're on edge? A little bit. <laughs> I could tell you were like super on edge. That's fucking awesome. Ten points. I, okay, it wasn't my fault. The thing wasn't working. Like the machine, I wanted to pay. I have all the money. I can pay for it. <laughs> but it wasn't wait, working. Wait, what the fuck was Wait, you made the conscious decision to like literally jump it? Well, did you get a running start? I'm a little bit drunk. <laughs> I am too. All right, so then she's like, I made the conscious decision to jump it because it wasn't working. Blah, blah, blah. Or I, I made that joke. But she basically decided to jump it because it wasn't working. Um, then she says she's a little bit drunk, and I always like to drink before I do my daytime game. Uh, just it loosens up uh, the approach anxiety, loosens the nerves. Um, so she says she's been drinking, so I say I've had a few drinks as well. Okay. Oh my god! Okay, wait. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Hold on. All right. All right. Now I'm being physical. So whenever you have like this little like bonding type moment in the vibe. Like we just connected over the fact that we both had had a couple drinks in a day. It's very easy to escalate physically on that high note. Okay, so now I'm pulling her in. Keep in mind, we're only 38 seconds in. Um, I have the time slightly cut off here. Uh, we're only 38 seconds in. Here, I can probably maximize this. There we go. Um, <clears throat> and I'm already getting physical here actually I'll keep this minimized just so it fits within the thing okay so <clears throat> what have I done so far 
I have gotten physical and I've just been basically joking and stuff. Now I'm gonna move into logistical questions, find out what's going on. I have drank like six drinks so far. Okay. Why was this at like a social gathering? Hold on. Okay, we're gonna be like really good friends. Okay. I am too. All right, we're gonna be like really good friends now. All right, we're gonna be really good friends right now. Now what I'm doing is I'm setting forth a frame. So what I'll do a lot of times when I'm about to pull is I'll say, here's what's gonna happen, okay? Or we're gonna be really good friends right now and then move on to setting the frame. So now I'm basically gonna be telling her the two of us are gonna be hanging out. So basically, what's your name? John. Nice to meet you. Okay. All right. So I tell her my name. Tells me who she is. Now keep in mind, I'm at 49 seconds. I'm executing my game plan from my end. I'm not sitting in there spinning my wheels, trying to keep the conversation going, which is what most pickup guys are doing. They're thinking, how do I get this girl to, um, you know, stay in the conversation? How do I get this girl to like me? No. I assumed that she was going to like me. Why? Because I'm a high value man. And why? Because I'm bringing alpha traits to the table. And why wouldn't she like me? Okay. That's your mindset. So I'm not trying to be in there to win her over, to try to get her to like me, anything like that. Now, when I move in there, like you saw, I was physical, introduced myself, blah, blah, blah. Now, um, I'm right away moving on to directing. I want to move her somewhere, right, with me. So let's see what happens. So you and I, like, are both intoxicated. We're probably the only people that are, like, on, like yeah. intoxicated right now. Sure. And I just moved here from California yesterday. No! Oh, wait, I'm, wait, hold on. Where do you live in California? San Diego. I'm from Palo Alto. Oh, no shit. I'm All right, so another big thing I like to do when I open interactions, when I approach interactions, is say I'm new here. So what am I doing? I'm in New York, so I'm saying, oh, I just moved here from California. I'm new here. All right, it kind of gives you an excuse to be talking to someone, plus it's like a, to a stranger, plus it's like a fun little thing. Turns out she happens to be from California as well, so we vibe on that. Literally, I, I go to That's NYU like right Google now. Google land. Yeah, I go to Startup. NYU, but I'm graduating right now, today. Like, oh, basically. today? Like, not today, but like, basically today. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. And I'm going back <laughs> home where my parents live, which is in California. So crazy. We're switching spots. You're leaving town today? Yeah. Well, I'm leaving May, whatever, later in the May. But yeah, that's my life. But you, okay, wait, why did you drink? You were celebrating graduating? Um, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a I shade ball. I love it. I can't. You're like All right, so then I'm, <laughs> so I'm, I'm determining information like she's saying she's graduate. She went to school in New York, but she lives in Cali and she has to go back to Cali. So I'm trying to find out how much time do I have to work with. So at first I thought she was leaving right then, but she's like, no, I'm not leaving for a bit. And then I'm like, why were you drinking today? And she's like, I can't tell you. <laughs> Let's continue watching here. Like, I jumped the fucking turnstile. Okay, so I'm, I'm shady gonna, as fuck. Is this it? Like, am I going to jail? I'm having no, a little bit of a mis mis So I'm giving her more shit about jumping the turnstile and for being shady, saying like, why she can't explain where she, where she was just coming from, all this shit. It turns out she was actually on a, a bad date beforehand and she's like embarrassed about it. That's that comes up later. Can I like propose something like totally fucking crazy okay. right now? Can I propose something totally fucking crazy right now? So minute and forty five seconds in, we bonded, we built the physicality and the and the verbal rapport. Now I'm gonna be trying to move her somewhere. Now keep in mind how different this is than most daytime infields you see. Most daytime infields you see Guys are like, oh, you look like you could be my wife. You look like we should have babies on a romantic island or, I mean, a, a remote island or, or whatever. And the girl's like, yeah. And she's just fucking weirded out. Why? Because that's not who you are. At no point am I faking anything right now. I'm just having fun, cracking jokes, but also directing things forward, as you will see next. Which is? Can I kiss you around public? Uh, no, no, hold on. Not. Oh, I forgot I, did, I, did, I didn't watch this event, so... I'm just explaining as I go along. So I'm going for the kiss. She says no. I just thought since things were going so well that I could maybe get it in there. I say I have a crazy idea right now. Are you ready? She's like, what is it? I go, can I kiss you? She says, not yet. All right, which is fine. Treat it as no big deal and move on. Well, hold on. Hear me out. I'm intoxicated, but not that intoxicated. <laughs> You're intoxicated. You're like, I need more beer goggles. You know, look, you look like <laughs> shit. So I'm teasing her like, oh, she, she would need like, more better like beer goggles in order to kiss me or something like that. 
No, I'm just fucking around. Are you down to get? I'm about to go. Um, there's a TGI Fridays there. I'm like about to go like have one more drink. Do you want to come with okay, me? Okay, one drink. Okay. Because. Okay, so then I. S no, okay. When you are doing your day game, you should have the insta date spot in mind. So an insta date is when you take a girl instantly on a date, typically from day game, is what the term refers to. And there's a TGA Fridays in. Uh, near Union Square in New York City where you can sit and then it becomes just like a regular date all right so I told her come with me there just for one drink what's that doing lowering the compliance threshold to make it easier to comply with oh let's just go over have one drink and hang out or whatever and she's like all right I can come for one drink all right now that's also referred to as baby stepping like in night game interactions uh, you're basically gonna be moving the girl from like the bar to like the smoking section and then from smoking section to the cab. So that breaks up like a bigger compliance test into smaller compliance points. Um, okay, so now she has agreed to come with me. I have to meet somebody. All right, deal. Okay. Come. What is your name? I don't even know your name. We literally just had this conversation. I know, but I forgot. Your name's John? Yes. You, I made that up. It is, John? it is. Okay, you didn't I make that up. I thought John Smith. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, it is actually. What's name? I don't know. Tell me again. I mean, I've got like when I was doing that. I can't just like do no name. That's right there. Like yeah, fuck okay. it. Okay. Well, we're not having sex, so. No. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm just teasing her. Like, we traded names again. Um, I'm just making jokes like, oh, we're not going to fuck. I'm just starting to, to ease off the sexual pressure because I'm going to be trying to take her home later. Hi. Wait, what's your ethnicity? Just what's your ethnicity? Um, I'm Russian. Oh, no shit. Yeah. I'm like part Polish. I'm half Polish. Are we twins? Is that <laughs> like, are we in Ew. I hope not. You make retarded children. I mean, don't have that. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> I usually ask girls their ethnicity. She says she's Russian. I say I'm part Polish because my mom comes from the Polish side. Those are very close countries geographically so then I make the joke that maybe we're related and we can have retarded babies now this isn't okay that sounds like it could be a fancier cheesy line but that just came to mind in the moment so there's a big difference because it's coming from the place of like that's just my sense of humor versus this is a stupid can line that I say to every girl alright it's okay if it's part of your sense of humor but it shouldn't be these stupid corny can jokes <laughs> No, where are you? Where do you live? Do you live in Manhattan or where? I do. I live in the East Village. Well, here. It's like very okay. Now, what am I doing? I am determining her logistical situation. So we are both currently in Manhattan. In this little situation here, so I'm like, where do you live? Manhattan, and she's saying, no, I live in this part. I think it was part of Manhattan or whatever. But I'm basically, I was staying at my friend's place in Brooklyn, which is like a 20-minute cab ride. Um, but I'm basically trying to figure out where she lives and how much time she has on stuff because I'm going to be orchestrating bringing her back home. Oh, nice. But I have to go to, uh, yeah. Yeah, the go uh, Oh, it's subway. straight through there. You yeah. see the subway sign? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you. Cool. I love how everyone's oh, European here. here. You're like my little sidekick right now. <laughs> you are really tall. Um, Why the fuck are you so tall? I don't know. <laughs> Ask God. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> My verbals are actually pretty funny, um, because I'm a I'm a smart dude, so like I I make a lot of like witty remarks. So if you caught that, she said, "Why are you so tall?" And I said, "Ask God." <laughs> you know, playing off genetic, the genetic reference. I don't actually believe in God, but funny nonetheless. Um, okay, and I also said you're like my little sidekick, because she's walking. Keep in mind, we're only like 3 minutes and 14 seconds in. She's walking with me on the way to uh, a bar. And, you know, I'm a lot taller than her, so I'm joking she's my little sidekick. Just like little fun things. Keep in mind, this isn't like some big formal information exchange where I'm like drilling her on like, how about this, how about this, how about this. It's just playful, it's fun. Like, I'm coming from the place of we're gonna have a fun time, I'm a fun guy, we're gonna laugh, blah, 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 right? That makes her comfortable. That's how you gain traction and comfort and all that stuff. You just be yourself and crack jokes and and do fun shit, all right? 
<laughs> okay, I don't even got Wait, but <laughs> this is like the best <laughs> experience yes. ever. You just almost got fucking decked in the face with an umbrella. You jump the turnstile. Okay, tell me what it looks like to jump a turnstile. Um, you literally lift yourself. I mean, I could have probably gone under it, but I wasn't but, comprehending okay, what let's was going right on. Here. I was in Can Brooklyn. Hands? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm losing hands. Are we getting married now? All right, so I'm just making more small talk about how she jumped the turnstile. She's explaining the situation. Now at this point, we have to cross the street to get to the venue where I'm taking her on this today. And I'm like, can we hold hands? Again, I'm just trying to be physical where I can, and but uh, keep it natural and light and fun. And then she's like, are we getting married now? I don't like the stupid like cheesy role play type stuff, but I, I don't. Let's see what I say. I hope so. Are we falling in love? <laughs> <laughs> We're both drunk in public during um, the daytime, so. I said I hope so. That's a good start. If you're gonna kill me, I don't trust you. All right, here comes some objections. If you're gonna kill me. <laughs> I don't trust you. So it's becoming like increasingly prevalent in our modern times. I actually just had a off topic um, a chick come over at like 6 a.m. during the New York program, um, insisted on bringing a, a close friend just in case I was going to kill her. <laughs> she gets to the point where she's naked, like ready to fuck, and then the friend. Uh, was like waiting in the lobby. The friend had been talking to my friend and then her friend had a boyfriend so my friend didn't want to talk to her because it was late and all this shit. And then, so I, I, long story short, it got cock blocked. She brought along a cock block. So that was fun. Um, <laughs> all right. I like how you, I had, I actually changed out of ripped jeans because I thought it looked inappropriate today. And then here's my like yeah, partner in crime. See, if you did wear a then you would literally have been incest. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> she's pretty funny too. So like, I'm making a joke how I was wearing ripped jeans earlier and I didn't think it was, it was appropriate or whatever to wear them out during the day. I don't know what that means. But uh, she's like, oh, if you had worn them, it, it really would have been incest. So we have like this whole incest joke because we're of somewhat geographic background. Um relatives not really russian and part polar oh my god i love you so much yeah. how old are you like 22 sure <laughs> more bullshit questions asking her age wait tell me the name i'll remember this time i did it like four years ago wow <laughs> tells me your name said i did it you wrote that name four years ago never dated me john Never? Never? Yeah. And it was always like Daniel, James, <laughs> like stupid. Yeah? Like How far are you from here? Uh, um, like two stops away. Oh, that's okay. How far would you live from here? Two stops away. Keep in mind, I'm screening for um, her living arrangements and all that stuff. Yeah. What's your, your... My point to my whole entire story Yeah. why I jumped the fucking here. I want to see, like, here you go. <laughs> 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 okay, we're going into the the Instadate venue. Um, we're at four minutes and forty one seconds. Okay, so as you can see, I'll just recap one more time. A lot has been done here. In under five minutes, I've approached a stranger. I've gotten physical with her. When we were laughing and joking, I was like, "Come here, ha ha ha!" You meet my partner in crime. Brought her in close. We held hands across the street. We're making jokes about it how it might be incest, we might get married, all some in love style, which from a traditional game standpoint, that would be role plays. I don't like to place things into boxes like that. That's just me cracking jokes and having fun and vibing with her own jokes. I'm teasing her for jumping the turnstile thing. Um, but I'm also peppering in logistics. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm peppering in how far would you live from here? How long are you in town for? When do you go to California? Um, and I will keep asking those types of questions. Uh, where are you, or what are you doing after this? Like how much time do you have, that kind of stuff. You wanna know all that stuff because it de determines how much time you have to work, work with, right? If she only has an hour and a half, you don't wanna do an hour to an hour and a half date because you're gonna run out of time to take her home and try to hook up with her. Okay, so you're gonna cut the date short, the insta-date. Um, plus I also directed her towards the insta-date, um, told her just one drink, just for a second, right? All right, now let's see what happens inside here. 
Velkommen til Høge. Okay. Hej, Jørgen. Var det igen? Øh, ja, please. Åh, oh, så so he's been here before. Jeg stoppede inden for at drink earlier. Kan jeg have en quarter cranberry, please? Ja. Hun har bare graduet, så vi er celebrating. She also jumped a turnstile. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so we're ordering a drink from the bartender. I'm kind of bringing the bartender the inside joke about, well, not inside joke, but the inside info about how this chick jumped a turnstile. It's cool to just, you know, old school mystery, you would call that merging sets or whatever. All, all I'm doing is just being fun, right? It's not like, okay, I'm in here with her now, I can only speak to her. I'm gonna crack jokes with the bartender. I'm gonna crack jokes with people sitting next to us. If my wing was there, my wing is on the camera right now, but um, it's a hidden camera. So she, uh, he hasn't been formally introduced. Um, but you're just cracking jokes, having fun. I did that once. I got a ticket for it. <laughs> See, it's not the way. Don't tell her that. She's gonna freak out. And then the bartender's like, I did that. I jumped the turnstile once, got a ticket for it. I'll point with the mouse where we are, just so you guys can see. I got a ticket for it. Wait, did they take your picture or did it happen right then? It happened, you got to get like right when it happened? They found it later. Oh, okay. It happened right then? Yeah, it happened right there. Right. No, you're good. So she already got there. away. Oh, you got away then. That's all right. <laughs> right? I'm like, I'm good. She's on the run right now. Yeah, I'm literally on the run. <laughs> One minute, I'm not gonna... Here we are, there's me, there's the chick. We're talking to the bartender right here. Somewhat of a shitty angle, but you'll you'll get the, you'll still be able to hear the verbals because I got the mic on. Oh, they have better things to do with their lives. <laughs> There's people in the they're all sitting on a conference room right now. They're like, right now that they're getting, and they're not. You know how many people do that a day? They don't have time to chase up. They're printing okay. out your picture and putting it on the wall. You need to give me five seconds to okay. speak to you, okay? okay? I need a second conference. It's so much fun. I love it. I think she said I have to text some friends, give me a minute or whatever, I'm telling her she's fun. Okay. It's not gonna be a long night with you and me. Oh yeah? Just letting you know, no, like literally, <laughs> no, like seriously. I have to get somewhere and I don't know where I'm trying to go. Are you late there right now? What? Are you late there right now? Am I late? Thank you. So she's like, it's not going to be a long night with you and me just to let you know. So, okay, so this, this would fall into the category somewhat of an objection. Like, I don't have that much time objection, which you're going to run into a bunch in day daytime game. Like in a nighttime, in a nightclub, they've pretty much blocked off. Most of the girls had blocked off like 11 until 2 in the morning or whatever. In a typical city, um, some might have to go home early because they have to be up for work. Um, some might have plans for an after party or whatever else later on. In a daytime situation, the girl is either on her way to do something or just finished doing something. So in this particular situation, this girl is like, "Oh, I'm not going to have a lot of time, right?" So I'm factoring that in in terms of pulling the trigger to take her home um, sooner than later, right? But if I had not asked that. And this I used to do in the early days was not ask that those types of questions. And I see my students do this all the time. And what happens is, say you spend 45 minutes, 60 minutes on the date. And then she's like, well, I'm supposed to be here like soon. Like, nice meeting you. I got to go. Right. Whereas had you had known, you can just get one drink or one coffee or whatever. Cut it short and be on your way with the girl. So you have time to wake up. Cheers. Congratulations on being a fugitive and graduating. <laughs> How does it feel to be a fugitive? That was so funny when I came up to you, you thought I was like an officer that was going to be like, yo, you can't. No, I mean, I knew you were hitting on me, oh. but... Okay, that's an interesting, po interesting uh, verbal that she just said. So I said, <laughs> when I came up to you, like you start, you, I startled you because you thought that I knew that you were a fugitive because she had jumped the turnstile. And she goes, no, I knew you were hitting on me. How did she know? On the open, squaring up, strong eye contact, um, body language is confident and authoritative. I also um, 
smiling, cracking jokes, right? I wasn't just asking her for directions. I was being semi-direct in the sense that I, she knew I wasn't just stopping her for no reason, okay? So that's how, and girls pick up on that stuff really fast. And that's good. You want them to know you're talking to them because you find them attractive. It's okay to admit that and to convey that. Well, you're, 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 your eyes, your eyes, your eyes, Here you are. Here you are. You literally forgot my name. That's five seconds after I told you my name. What's my name? No. No. Literally, it's not. You told me. What is it? She's quizzing me on, on her name. I also spelled all over myself and you. I know. No, but your eyes are like super fucking. <laughs> Possibly. It could be. I don't know. I was a rave DJ for a while. I can spot it. I was a rave DJ. Oh. <laughs> That's right. So I used... you didn't make it that far into the DJ life? Because I don't know you. John, what? What's that last thing? Yeah. Can I, like, find you on Spotify? Is that okay? Alright, so. I mentioned something about her eyes, um, how I can like tell, I don't know if she, basically I'm just pointing out the fact that like her peoples look like she either been drinking or had taken some kind of drug or something. I don't, <laughs> I don't think she actually took any kind of drug, but she had just been on like a date before. So like I'm pointing out like, oh, I can spot that stuff because I'm a DJ. Like as your serotonin goes up, like your eyes dilate more. And then, um. She's like, oh, like, can I find you on Spotify? Now she's asking about the DJ question. The reason why I mention the DJ stuff usually is because it imports a bunch of value. Um, it shows adventurous life, access to a lot of women, um, life that's more fun than hers, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, and now she's asking about the DJ stuff. Oh, oh, my DJ name. Um, it was the Hammer of Thor. It was Molnir. Okay, Pop Chris, who's the so my DJ name, Hammer of Thor, which I now have a, a tattoo of here. That's part of the motivation for it. Um, and she says, pop quiz. Yes. Hello. Um, Jeezy. Okay. I love Jeezy. So pop quiz, I think she had like a background on her phone of a rapper. Who is this? And I knew it was Jeezy. He has a bunch of like player-like songs. I love Jeezy. What's your so, so I love Jeezy. Another pop quiz. Because I feel like you don't actually love Jeezy. Cool Quizzing me more. What's your favorite song about Jeezy? No uh, me, myself, and I. Hundred points. Hundred. Shut up. You're such a dick. All right. So I, I say one of his songs I like, and she's like, "Oh, so you only know one song." And I'm, I'm giving her shit, like for teasing me. So I tell her you're such a dick. <laughs> Like, here's the thing, like, I don't, again, I wouldn't call this, like, a shit test by her. This is just part of the vibe. She's teasing me, I'm teasing her back. Why you gotta be a dick? Wait, when do you fly out? At the end of May. Oh, I thought you were leaving today. No. When do you fly out? End of May. I thought she had been leaving that day for some reason. I told you several times when I'm leaving today. Oh, okay. But I... I thought you were going back to California to your parents' house or something? Yeah. That sucks. Today... I, stop, stop. I'm, not, I'm not looking up and down. Anyway. Yes. Okay, and then <laughs> it's hard to tell from this angle, but she had like some cleavage. For those of you who don't know what that is, the tops of her breasts were exposed somewhat in her shirt, and she saw me looking, and she's like, Oh, I know you're looking up and down. So now it's like more teasing, but from a sexual sense. I'm so get away. Oh, you're hot. Um. And I'm like, I think you're hot. And it's okay to say shit like that. Like, now we're getting into the... I'm sitting pretty close to her. You can see here her legs up against me and shit. Um, but I'm just straight up telling her I think you're hot. Like, she knew I approached her because I was attracted to her. We held hands. I was physically close to her. And now I'm physically close to her on the date. And then um, I'm telling her I think she's hot. I'm, like, kind of, like, looking at her body. Not a creepy way because that's going to... Lose you a shit little points and probably blow up the interaction. But it's like this little dance here. But it, keep in mind, I'm not like sitting away, apart from her. Like, so, uh, tell me about this. So, tell me about it. It's this playful, fun, excuse me, sexual thing. You have to make things non-platonic through these 
things like this through the holding hands, through being close to her, through making sexual jokes with the verbals. I have a separate video on my channel about being sexual with your verbals. Um, it's important. Where is, it, where is this from? Do you want me to tell you a story about this watch, actually? Yeah. So this past summer, I bought it in Nordstrom. And then I... So you know, like... Nordstrom Rack? Is that the, the regular? Yeah, the real Nordstrom. <laughs> Alright, so she's telling me a story about where she got her watch. And then I went to... Okay, so Palo Alto, like, we have parties, whatever. But then Los Altos? Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. They're like rich as fuck there. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you're not actually in Los Altos. I Where are you from? San Diego. San Diego, yeah. yeah. Um, but I know people in yeah, Palo Alto. So anyway, Los Altos is like insanely rich. So I ended up going to this... I feel uncomfortable that you're checking me open too. I'm not. <laughs> it's okay. Like I'm looking at your eyes. Uh-huh, yeah. She's good. <laughs> She's giving me more shit. I feel like you're checking me up and down. I think I, well, I mean, I almost surely was, especially if she's coming on that. Um, but that's okay. Like the, the point is it's unapologetic. Well, it's like I'm, I'm apologizing in a, in a playful way. Like, no, I'm not looking at your tits. I'm looking at your eyes. And she's like, yeah, you know, it's conveyed. Like the message that's conveyed is I'm going to bang you. I think you're hot. I want to bang you, but not coming from a place of, uh, being unsure it's like full confidence that we're gonna hook up right even if that is not the case in this particular case it is but even if that wasn't the case that's how you should act in every interaction okay you're conveying there is no doubt in my mind that I will hook up with you which is important because they feel that and it radiates off all your verbals off all your body language and off all the, the frames that you said and the way that you um, react to different you know teasing and whatever um so now we're just this is just this is flirting right here sexual flirting um, i went to this party like which i was not invited to at all but it was this like mansion yeah, are you like a badass i would like to think like so. you jump to turn saw you go into parties uninvited oh, so it's my reputation and i jump to turn well, that was so, like, I've never, okay, I don't even usually talk to girls every day. If I, I bet. No, I really don't. But I saw I your eyes all fucking bright and shit. And I really, like, I'm, like, a big fan of, like, really bright eyes. Like, nice. All right, so now I'm, I'm kind of teasing her, like, oh, are you just, like, a badass in general? Because you jumped her in styles, and she said that she attended a party uninvited. But then I'm also, like, kind of, like, trying to take myself out of, like, the player frame or whatever. I'm, like, I don't even usually talk to girls during the day, and she's, like, bullshit, right? And she knows. But I'm kind of giving her this, like, um, I'm giving her this way to feel comfortable about the whole seduction, so to speak. Okay? That's another important point. It's not like, oh, I'm just fucking putting her through the machine, which, <laughs> which essentially I am. Um, it's more like, oh, this was a spontaneous happenstance. In reality, she knows it wasn't, but uh, you know, it's it's part of the whole dance. And so I was just like, hey, and then you were like, ah, and I was like, damn, are you on the run? And you're like, actually, I am. Yeah. <laughs> it's only like a dollar fifty or something, right? Well, it's, no, it's like I said, I have the money. Like I really could have paid, but yeah, like I do have a dollar fifty. It's two fifty actually. So Step it up. do I have that extra dollar? I don't know, but I do. But the thing is, like, I really was gonna pay, and what my plan was before you caught me off guard was I was gonna. Go what were you doing? You were like looking at your phone or something. Right? I know. I was trying to figure out where I need to go next because I have to go somewhere. And <laughs> Wait, are you on like a drug tour or something, like a pub drug crawl? How, how soon? I don't know. She's not responding to me. So I okay, here's a key logistical point that she brings into the mix. She says, my friend is picking me up soon, which that could like fuck the whole thing, right? So that's important. So I'm like, how, how soon? And she's like, oh, she's not responding to my text, right? So now that's like on my radar that I need to keep that in mind about when her friend is going to come, basically come in and cock block and fuck this all up. I guess not that like soon but she like i forgot where she wants me to meet her so i was trying to figure it out and my plan was to like swipe my card twice so that like i paid for the time that i jumped the turnstile oh uh -huh. yeah. so you're like 
and immoral about us. <laughs> I'm gonna get caught now. Well, no, you won't. If they didn't catch you, then you're good. I want to invite you out before you leave town. What's your number? All right. So at this point, I'm just grabbing her phone number. Um, partially, that's from knowing that at any moment the friend could come, fuck things up, come pick her up, right? So I'm getting the phone number just as a, um, you know, just so I have it, just for the sake of having it. So what you don't want to happen is all of a sudden the friend shows up. Oh, no, she's waiting for me out front. I got to go. Oh, give me a number. Oh, no, I don't have time. I got to run outside. Okay, so I'm just getting the phone number now because new information came in so that her friend could be picking her up at any time. I'm just going to type in my fake number. Yeah, please. She's joking. I'm going to give you my fake number. Ha, ha, ha. What are you up to right now? Okay, now I'm, I'm back to trying to make something happen. What are you up to right now? And you can do this in the club, you can do this in a daytime interaction on the street. You can do it on a date, you can do it on an insta date as I'm doing here. You're just determining if she's free, because what's coming next, you're going to invite her to go do something with you. Like I said, I'm not particularly sure. <laughs> Fugitive. <laughs> it's not every day you meet a fugitive on the run. <laughs> what a fucking badass thing. <laughs> You're like, yeah, you know, I do a lot of bad shit, like jump turns and stuff. Wait, did you have to climb it or something, or how did you get over it? No, I'm really strong. Are you? Can I feel your muscle? You're not strong at all. <laughs> so what did I you did... Did you work out? Nope. What I did... That's so sad, yeah. like... So anyway, I picked myself up and I just jumped over it. I don't think at all. While all the Mexican construction workers were coming <laughs> out and were like, Woo! Oh, they saw you getting a crime. I was like, what's up, you guys? Anybody want to pay for No? Okay, good. All right. All right, so she's talking about how she jumped the turnstile and the Mexican construction workers saw her do that and blah, blah, blah. And still like this funny running joke, but I'm going to bring things back to making them serious and trying to direct her back to where I'm staying in Brooklyn. Anybody want to what? I was going to say, like, anybody want to pay for me to get through? No? Pay for in a half hour? I know! <laughs> I know. Okay. Are those your eyelashes? I'll tell you right now. Maybe eyelashes, yes. Yeah. They're pretty long. It's mascara. Wait, okay. I know you don't know me, blah, 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 blah. But tell, I'm just like very curious. Like, what is like the backstory of why you've been drinking? Of why what? Why you've been drinking. So I'm asking her again about why she's been drinking. I can't tell you. Alright, that's fine. Is it kind of a hint? You can try to guess, and if you guess it, I'll say yes. Well, it sounds shady if you can't tell it me. It is shady. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't like a friend activity or like a social gathering, obviously. If it's shady. I don't know, I can't think of reasons why, shady reasons why you would drink. Alright, then I won't tell you. Wait, were you just getting off work or something? Nope. That's gonna be a shit. Uh, were you with friends? No. Clients? I guess. <laughs> oh yeah? I don't know. I'm getting closer? That's a better word than friends. Clients? Oh, you're a drug dealer or something? I do you? think I'm a drug dealer. So I'm trying to guess why she was drinking before and she's making me guess. And it turns out she was like on a date with like some fucking like older dude from, <laughs> from like a sugar daddy side or some shit and it was like a disaster but she was like nervous so she had a drink beforehand I wish got, I was the ripped jeans and shit I wish I was are you fully Russian? Yeah. Russians are fucking crazy I, I dated like two or three Russian girls and they're always like super strong personality like really independent and strong women and they always do like shit loads of drugs and drink my, and shit loads. my brother he's a drug dealer he just bought himself Alexa's and I'm like, all right, you piece of shit. Okay, you going to school. So are you gonna like? Yeah. What are you up to right now? Mm -hmm. this? Like I said, trying to meet my friend who is obviously not his friend. Do you have drinks at your house? What? Do you have drinks at your place? Yep, you're not invited. Okay. <laughs> she keeps giving me all this shit. All right, so I say, what are you up to right now? She says, I'm waiting for my friend because we're gonna go to my place. And then I said, do you have drinks at your place? And she says, yes, but you're not invited, right? Because sometimes you can pull to their place if it's quicker, if it's if it's closer. So I was staying in Brooklyn. For those of you who don't know New York, 
that's like 20, 25 minutes from Manhattan. And she um, told me that she lives like two stops or whatever in Manhattan. So she was closer, so I tried to move to her place first. She says, you're not invited. Okay, it's fine. But then you'll see how I move, or I uh, suggest going to my friend's place. I like the attitude though. I like the attitude, haha. Ha. Right, again, I'm not getting frazzled. She like here we are like clearly she's into me into me but she's just pulling a bunch of like standard BS teasing right oh yeah I have alcohol you're not coming haha ha, right like I said I'm only here for one show like, and then I gotta go yeah. so if you're gonna drink your drink either really slowly or can I buy you later can I buy you out later on okay then she says I'm only here for one drink then I gotta go so then I'm talking about hanging out there later where are you going later maybe not tonight but... She's like, maybe not tonight, but, you know, keep in mind, like, well, I'll, I'll let you guys see what happens. But you want to make things happen as fast as you can, right? So why meet up later if you can hang out now, okay? I don't even remember how I actually got her to hang out now, but we'll see. Wait, tell me more about the retarded babies we would have if we had sex. Oh my god, you and I? Well, our retarded... Tell me more about the retarded babies we would have if we had sex. Um, sexualizing things again. You're basically gonna have really big heads because look at your fucking huge head. Why is your head so fucking big? I'm really smart. It's my brain. Yeah? <laughs> How old are you again? 32. So she's asking, uh, or she's making a joke how our babies would have a big head because I have a big head. No way. <laughs> how old I look? I look like upper 20s, right? How old do you look like I am? 21 or 20. Oh, yeah. shit. It's not. I, I'm actually really surprised. Do you like older guys? My ID is like, no. I literally thought you were like 24. Really? Yeah. Girls always guess like 26, 27. Yeah. I'm like legit 32. Why are you not married and a baby? Uh, she thought I was 24. During this uh, video, I was actually 32. I'm 34 now. A lot of chicks think I'm, I look young. I don't know. It's good. I, I think my dad's side it just has a bunch of young looking brothers. So she's saying, I thought you were 24. And then she's like, why aren't you married? Why don't you have babies, right? Just standard, like, oh, why are you still single at that age? What's wrong with you? Kind of stupid shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm never getting married. No, most girls that I, I meet, most girls I meet, <laughs> I don't. Most girls I meet are like totally out of control and like crazy and like fucked up. Same goes for guys though. I told her most girls I meet are crazy. She said same as for dudes. Um, for those of you still with me, there's, only 10 minutes left in this clip, so you're gonna see me bring her home shortly. You seem pretty fucking crazy yourself. Um, Wait, you really think you're fat? I think you're fucking hot. It's because you're drunk and you have like beer goggles drunk? on right now. Uh -huh. How many fingers am I on? Two. Three. You're just an ass. <laughs> I'm not drunk, I had like five drinks on, and they, it gave me like a little buzz, and now I'm catching like a little bit more buzz. Tell me, okay, you have to tell me. What, what you did. I'm not telling you what I did. Give me like a tiny hint. I already gave you a hint. Tell me... Can I see what you said your eyes are? Are they blue or green? See? Alright, so one of my moves for going for the kiss is to say, let me see what color your eyes are. Because it kind of like closes the space. Alright, so she's here, I'm here. Oh, let me see what color your eyes are. Come here. And then like, your lips are really close. So if you've been flirting the whole time and teasing and shit and sexualizing things, and being physical, it's going to be easy for them to make out with you at that point. Every single person says they're blue, but they're definitely green. Yeah, no, they looked for the first time, they look green. What color mine? Stop. You're freaking me out. What? Yours are like a mid group of friends. Like. <laughs> you like pause? Like, I have like a really tight knit group of friends. I'm trying to find That's the right like, word. Tight. That's you do. Sex? No sex. But you, okay, you can so still say, sex you can still say you have a tight vagina without us having sex. Okay. I like that you say vagina, not pussy. I hate pussy. That's my least favorite word. Okay. That's my least favorite word. Moist, I hate that shit. Yeah. Oh. What about the word cunt? Alright, so she's... This is a little bit more sexualizing. She said the word tight, so I'm playing off that. and Saying tight vagina. She's like, oh, I like that you said vagina, not pussy, blah, 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 blah. Um, so 
let's see. I'm gonna pull the trigger soon. Get her out of here. Hunt is funny and like I can be like I'm a hunt. Are you still in England? But if, if, if I ever had sword, if I had sex with somebody and they were like, wow, like you're a cunt, it's like I would literally throw up. Like, That's gross. Alright, calm that down, let's get the fuck out of here. Why do you have an umbrella? Oh, I guess it's raining. <laughs> Those eyes, oh my god. Stop. No, they're really good. I can hook you up in Miami, I live in Story. And I'm, I'm so hooked up in oh, you Miami. Are? Oh, she's talking about how she's going to Miami. I told her I can hook up with the clubs there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's cool. My, my, okay, my point to the story was that I have a tight neck group of friends. Like, Stop pausing. You did it again. No, but I didn't. You go, the point of the story is oh I'm a God, tight... Do, do you know anything about basketball? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, who's the California team? The Lakers. Okay. And? And? Who else? I don't know. What do you think? Oh yeah, which one are you a fan of? You're a basketball fan? No, I'm not. <laughs> Why are you asking me these places then? Lady? I'm trying, okay? I've you look like you might be not just a lot, it goes okay. out your system fast too. Okay, I only smoked one. Okay, it smoked on Wednesday, but it was like the first time in like a really oh, you're good fine. time. No, I know a lot about this. Okay. Like, my friend used to be... Like, as long as... It's a, it's a function of how often you smoke. So even if you smoke a lot on Wednesday, it'll be gone. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. You can actually test it too. You can get a kit and test it in advance. Is it I'll, in I'll text pharmacy? to you. This pharmacy? No, no, I'm saying like, <laughs> is it in a pharmacy? Oh, oh, oh. I don't think so. You have to get online. I'll help you though. But also like, are I'll you serious? This, babe. Like we in a really long time, September. Oh. I know. It's I'm such long. a fucking baby. Wait. <laughs> I really like you, by the way. I'm a pita. Oh, thanks. That's how I really like her. It's okay to say those explicit things, like as long as they're not coming from a place of like uh, being pathetic or or low value. What's that? I'm trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to have sex with you. Uh, I'm, sure. sure. I'm just trying to make sure we're still on that you know. time. I think, yeah. So I'm, I'm teasing her because she was giving me a bunch of shit. So I'm like, oh, I feel like you're just trying to have sex with me. And then she's like, no, you're just trying to have sex with me. I'm just. But now I'm a little <laughs> bit nervous about going. And then she's like, oh, um. <laughs> she's like, I'm not having sex as well. Then I, well, I think I did pinky promise. Let me see. It's your place because now I think that you're like. I'm just fucking. I'll stop. <laughs> you are. You're so, oh my god. Are you a cop? I'm just Here we go again. <laughs> I think it's so badass that you jumped that turnstile. Fuck you. It really is. I mean, it's a funny way to meet somebody. Like, hey. Like, okay. Isn't it funny? Like, when you jumped, I knew that you were like guilty of something. I go, are you running from the law? You're like, funny you ask. I just jumped the turnstile. <laughs> And I was like, oh my god. Right? No, that is, yeah, I guess. I like, no, you have like a really cool style. Like, I'm not just saying this just because this is what you're wearing, but I like, I'm a huge fan of ripped jeans. I like when they're like fully destroyed, like when girls have like the fucking. Yeah, I, I feel you. Yeah. And I like leather jackets. I wore a leather jacket for like six years, but then I thought it was corny. Leather jackets are the fucking shit. And guys, they're like, sometimes corny though. I guess, like you feel like grease. Yeah. 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 Or you feel like you're like trying to try hard but to be cool. I'm on fucking fashion point, so. Yeah. You're gonna like the guy I'm living with. He's in law school. He's like super fucking cool. I'll introduce you. Okay. Alright, so basically, um, I told her I'm going to introduce her uh, to the guy I'm staying with, who happens to be another top coach in the game. Um, you're just gonna meet him really quick, we're just gonna have one drink, that kind of shit, right? We're talking about you going to Miami, I was, that was like my shit, I used to DJ all over then. At 8, so I like need to get my shit together, but I'm eight? obviously not getting- Alright, so she's running out of time, I don't remember what time it was at this point, but I think we had like an hour or something like that, so she like had to go to the airport at 8, so I'm trying to move her at this point. What do you mean at 8? 
Thai food. Like tonight? 8 o'clock. You're going back tonight? Driving. At 8 p.m.? Yeah. Oh, shit. Right, well, that's, that's what we all planned for. And that's why I'm like... Out of Brooklyn? Yes. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. We're not having... All right, so she has to leave at 8, so I'm trying to move her as fast as possible. She's saying we're not having sex again. Okay, you promise? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Comment. You promise? You sure? Please, I've had a really rough day. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I wanted to my drink. Do you like my eyes too? We have like really similar eyes. I have better eyes than you do. You do have better I eyes. do. I don't it's always it's so much fun being a girl. Look where I am. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I only talk to you because your eyes. For some reason. I mean, you have a sexy little body. Okay. <laughs> you do. You know you do. Asshole. Alright, let's go. Tell her she has a sexy little body. After you, ma'am. It's their choice. It's not even my question. Because the waiter is a fucking dick rider. You know what? Shit. Damn. Like, so bad, you don't understand. And then she's like, Is this a cab? I, I always can't, I can't tell like which cabs are available. They need light in the top, oh, right? Yeah, can we tell the cabs? Is that yours? Is that yours? No. Is this a cab right here? Is this a cab for us? <laughs> you know I can Uber us. Alright, uh, yeah, I do that. Or we'll just grab- Alright, so she's talking about, um, she can Uber us, but that's, it's much easier to just grab a cab than wait for an Uber. Um, let's see what happens here. Um, there's like a fuckload of them coming right here. You don't have Uber? Are you like that lame? I'm just kidding, I'm such an asshole, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like suggesting that it's much better to just flag a cab. Just because I don't want to wait for the Uber, because it just adds more time, more problems to a pull. How, how quickly will an Uber be here? Or, let me see you handle a cab in New York City. Me? Yeah. <laughs> you think you're gonna get a cab by going like this? By I'm tall. The fucking roof? You look, you're like so shorter than me even when I'm oh standing. God, I can totally get a cab before you do. <laughs> oh, okay, you- Again, she's giving me shit. <laughs> Teasing me, I don't know how to have a cab. She's showing me she can have a cab better. Pretend you don't know me. Okay. Well, you're gonna see who they stop for? <laughs> I don't think so. They're not even coming. <laughs> We're holding our hand out for no There was reason. like 20. <laughs> Did you, can you do Uber? Yeah, so I'm like, fuck, can you call <laughs> Uber? Because. There wasn't any free cabs that came by in the side. Hold on. Yeah. Is that a cab right there? I don't think it's Come on, young lady. I'll hold this for you. Oh, that's so nice. That's my favorite umbrella, so no music. Okay. Here, come up on the corner up here. They're like going there. <laughs> oh, I'm getting accused of that. Says the girl who just got. Oh, you didn't fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, what did he talk about? What did he talk about? I honestly can't even. <laughs> Was he married? I feel like a lot of them want like a therapy a lot session. Of them here we go, here we go. Alright, now my cameraman has not been introduced at all, but I 
I think what I say is like, oh, let him share the cab with us or something. And also we have like a, a privacy attorney that we paid a whole bunch of money to, to go through all our footage. And he suggested not filming within the cab. So you're going to see this cut. So you're not going to get to hear the banter in the cab. You're just going to see this cut to Brooklyn, to my friend's place. But yeah, I like just put the cameraman in the cab. Keep in mind, it's a hidden camera. He doesn't have the camera out. But I'm like, yo, you want to split the cab with us or whatever. What's that red door right there? This guy across. Holy shit, I have to pee so bad. So bad. I have to pee so bad. Oh. Oh my god, I need to pee like literally it's, it's right, right there, that's now. the building. That's the building. Hey, We're oh. so cute. Ready? Please? We're so cute. <laughs> Two Eastern Europeans, Russian and Polish. We're gonna get killed. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was really close. Right here. Jump, turn. Oh, fuck. Go for it. Ugh. Right here. Yeah, it was actually uh, Jason James's old place. The community guy, Jason James, the coach. So we just hit the hour mark. Um, give you a more recap. So I approached, square up eye contact, speaking loud enough, being playful, making a comment on her, on her appearance, about her eyes, playing into the situation, not going to can lines. What She was startled, so I'm like, are you running from something? It brings out the turnstile story. Um, oh, oh, like, what's your ethnicity? Cool, we're both from the same type of area in terms of our roots. Um, when, do you, when do you leave town? Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. What are you doing after this? Okay. Come with me for one drink at the bar, sexualizing things, the other physicality things. I pulled her in close, said we're going to have an awesome time today. Held her hand across the street at the bar, sitting close to her, uh, talking dirty to her, telling her she sees me looking at her body, but not in a creepy way. I am unapologetic. I own it. I say, come to Brooklyn before your flight. You can meet my friend who I'm staying with, blah, blah, blah. We go, and then we ended up hooking up can't film that inside uh, the building <laughs> either so that's pretty much it um, a large majority of that was sitting at the instant venue which is just you would run that the same way as if you set up any kind of date from a night game lead a day game lead or an on -game, on game online game lead um, if you brought them to a date venue you'd just be sitting there and vibing the two biggest things you want to accomplish on a date, or in this case an insta-date, are to sexualize things, both with your verbals and with your physicality, and then also to um, set things up so the two of you are going back home, and then which in turn will bring up her objections, and then you answer those, and you're good to go. But notice, this wasn't just like some big platonic exchange where I was like, so do you want to hang out after this? The whole thing was like a slippery slide where... The physicality was the whole way through, the flirtation was the whole way through, the frame that I was going to hang out with her after was the whole way through, okay? Hope this was helpful, guys. I uh, apologize again for the delay for getting this out. I will start trying to put out content more regularly again. It's been about once a week, but I will queue up a bunch of videos and try to get you guys uh, multiple videos a week again. Uh, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, you are not yet a subscriber, make sure you subscribe, uh, like the video, and I have the link to my full system in the description at the bottom here, which has 70 uh, hidden camera start to finish interactions all the way through. So that's nighttime interactions, daytime interactions, incident interactions, and date interactions. All right, so thank you for tuning in, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.